Look at this post, everybody. We're going to tear this post up. We're going to dig deep into this post, go into specific detail, okay? Let's go. The American or Indian race found only in America is of a deep copper color, straight black hair, high cheekbones, eyes, black and sunken large faces, and robust bodies. Let's go down to so-called African. The African or Negro race, they have a jet black skin, low narrow foreheads, black woolly hair, thick lips, and long heels or something like that. Now, tell me, we are not colorblind. Look at the melanated brown skin gentleman on the right, on the bottom right. Tell me, is his skin complexion jet black? What does jet black look like? This is the color of jet black. Do you see that? That is jet black. That's how you know whatever information this post is from is bull crap. It is BS, bad sociology. Look at the words on the left side. Those words are typed in jet black, in the color of jet black. His skin complexion is brown, dark brown. That is not jet black. If he was jet black, if he had jet black skin, this is what he would look like. Not only that, the Negro and African are two different people. In the 1840s, Morton collaborated with George R. Glyden, an Egyptologist who provided him with mummy heads and information about the racial significance of Egyptian tomb inscriptions. Morton pointed out that both cranial and archaeological evidence showed that the Egyptians, aka Africans, were not Negroes. That just goes to show that the individual that posted this really doesn't know too much of anything. We melanated people of America are the true aboriginals of America. A true aboriginal does not classify or identify themselves as Native American. Let's look at the definition of Indian. A general name of any native of the Indies, not America. It is applied to any native of the American continent. Notice it said American continent, not the American country. Remember in my last video, I mentioned America was a continent. So if America is really a continent, that means the states are actually countries and America is the actual continent. When you fill out different types of forms or documents here in America and they ask you, what country are you from? Most of us select the U.S. or America, not knowing the state you are from is really the country you are from. And America is the actual continent your country is in. Also, nothing about Indians being the first primitive inhabitants of America, which means the so-called modern-day Indians we see today are not the first inhabitants of America. It doesn't say anything about them being the copper color races that was found out here in America, nor does it say anything about them being the aboriginal tribes of America. Indian, a general name of any native of the Indies, not America. Look at the definition of indigenous, native, born in a country, applied to persons, native, produced naturally in a country or climate, not exotic, and again, not the first primitive inhabitants of America. And nothing about the indigenous being the copper colored races found here in America, and nothing about the indigenous being the aboriginal tribes of America. Take a look at the definition of native, produced by nature, original, natural, native color, conferred by birth, pertaining to place of birth, native soil, native country, native grave as man's native dust, born with and still, nothing about the natives being the first primitive inhabitants of America. I wonder why. Let's look more at the definition. One born in any place said to be a native of that place, whether country, city, or town. What does that mean? It means anybody can migrate to America and have children in America. Those children born in America are now identified 
as natives. That does not mean they are the first primitive inhabitants of America, though. Still, nothing about the natives being the copper-colored races found here in America, and nothing about the natives being the aboriginal tribes of America. Black, more, Negro, a black man. Hold on, let's look at the definition of more. More, a native of the northern coast of Africa, not America, called by the Romans from the color of the people. Nothing about the Moors versus primitive inhabitants of America. Nothing about the Moors being the copper color races found in America. Nothing about the Moors being the aboriginal tribes of America. The Moors are foreigners to America. African, a native of Africa, not America. Nothing about Africans pertaining to the melanated people, the copper color people, the so-called black people, the so-called African American, so-called the slaves, nothing about African pertaining to any of those. It says African, a native of Africa, pertaining to Africa, not the melanated people of America. Negger, a black person, one of the African race. Negress, a female of the black race of Africa. What's the opposite of a negress? A negro, a native or descendant of the black race of men in Africa. What does that mean? The negro does not originate from Africa. Notice it said nothing about the negro or negress being the first original primitive inhabitants of Africa. Why? Because they are natives to Africa. Remember the definition of native. One born in any place is said to be a native of that place, whether country, city, or town. That does not mean you are the first primitive inhabitants of that place, country, city, or town. Look at the definition of aboriginal. First, original, primitive. Aboriginal people are the first inhabitants of a country. It did not say the natives are the first inhabitants of a country. It did not say the Indians are the first inhabitants of a country. It did not say the indigenous are the first inhabitants of a country. It specifically said aboriginals are the first inhabitants of a country. Aboriginal people, okay? Aboriginal tribes of America. It did not say native tribes of America. It did not say Indian tribes of America. It did not say indigenous tribes of America. It specifically said Aboriginal tribes of America. As the Celts in Europe and Indians in America. Wait a minute. Remember, it said aboriginals are the first original primitive, which obviously means the first people to have ever settled in a country, the first civilization in a country. Aboriginal people are the first inhabitants of a country. That means plural of a country, not one specific country, first inhabitants of a country. What is the world filled with? continents and countries. So what does that mean? There were melanated people everywhere all around the world. The real so-called dark ages when melanated people ruled and controlled everything. Aboriginal. An original or primitive inhabitant. The first settlers in a country are called aboriginals. Notice it did not say anything about the aboriginal being produced. Why? Because the aboriginal people are the producers. As the Indians in America, remember the definition of Indian, from India, and this from Indus, the name of a river in Asia pertaining to either of the Indies, east or west, nothing about pertaining to America. Indian, a general name of any native of the Indies, not America as an East Indian or West Indian. It is particularly applied to any native of the American continent. Notice it is not applied to the aboriginals. Why? Because we melanated aboriginal people of America are the first original primitive inhabitants. Indian is applied to any native. Anyone can be a native. Remember native. One born in any place is said to be a native of that place. 
country, city, or town. But a native is not the first, not the original, not the primitive, nor the first inhabitant of America. American, pertaining to America. American, a native of America. There goes the word native again. That means so-called America does not really belong to the so-called modern day Americans, nor the foreign American government. Americans are native to America, which means they come from somewhere else. Originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the Europeans, but now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America. Notice how foreigners came to Turtle Island and started applying all these different names and classifications. First, it's Turtle Island. Now it's America. They found us melanated people already here. They applied the name Aboriginal, then Copper Colored Races, then American, then take the name American, apply it to their children, then once again make up another bogus name and apply it to the melanated people found here in so-called America. The melanated people that were found here in America sound like they are the so-called blacks of America. Why? Because both of these people that have always been here in America are constantly having their identities changed. And these people both have copper color skin complexion. Also, the Europeans born in America have the same thing in common the Negro born in Africa has. They're both descendants. The Europeans are descendants. They come from somewhere else, not America, and the Negroes currently in and born in Africa descend from somewhere else. An authentic definition of black describes the color of a Caucasian looking person. Number two, a Negro, a person whose skin is black. If a so-called Negro skin is not really black, it's brown or copper color, why classify so-called Negroes as black? Because black is nothing more than a classification, which is why the main actual definition of black does not pertain to a so-called Negro. The main definition of black describes being pale, bleached to turn white. The definition of white says nothing about pertaining to a Caucasian, nothing about the term white pertaining to a so-called white person. Why? There's no such thing as a white person because the term white is also nothing more than a classification, just like black. It's what your status is as one collective race. The definition of white describes white as being good. The definition of black describes black as being not so good. In America, most so-called whites own and control almost everything. Economy, the government, education, medical establishment, municipal court system, police department, fire departments, the news, majority of most huge corporations are controlled and owned by so-called whites, which is a really good condition as one collective race, right? What about the so-called blacks condition? Don't own and control nothing compared to the so-called whites. The so-called blacks condition is crippled. This is why they classify melanated brown copper colored people of America as black and most Caucasian looking people of America as white. It's a status of one collective race of people. The definition of slave says nothing about pertaining to the so-called Negro. It says nothing about pertaining to the so-called black race. It says nothing about slave pertaining to the copper color races found here in America. It says nothing about who the slaves were. But yet we melanated people of America are going around calling ourselves slaves and saying our ancestors were slaves when slave says nothing about that. So why is the education system teaching us this and our youth? Because they are reprogramming all of our minds to become self-destructive. Everywhere others have traveled to earth, they have discovered that so-called black people have already been there, which are the copper color aboriginals, the first primitive inhabitants of a country. Let's take a trip to Mexico. The deeper in the country you go, the more melanated they get. anyone around here look especially black. They mix from the beginning. That's why you cannot you know, see but, them. But it's there. So the blackness is diluted. Yes. You have something that's not the same as all Mexicans. You discover that you're black. And I know. You're black people. It isn't said, but in every Mexican family, there is a black person. And do you know what the city folks say? Los de la ciudad. 
they say he was born black, but we love him anyway. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Know the origin of these terms.